Hello everybody and welcome back to another Southern California Seismic Data video. Today we have three 3.0 earthquakes to strike. Today, first one, let's see, Oops. is a magnitude 3.1 in Johans Johannesburg, California. Let's pull this up on Google Earth and see where it is. Okay, so it's right here. I think I know which fault. Yeah, Garlock. This occurred on the Garlock fault, right? Probably. Yes, this occurred in the Garlock fault zone. And it is... Let's see how far it is from our seismometer. This one is... One hundred twenty-one miles away. Okay. Close this. <coughs> this happened barely noticeable in our seismometer. Happened right there. As it is normally. Here's on our spectrogram. Very small readings. Most of these are small readings. Okay. Next, a three point zero to strike off the coast. A magnitude 3.1 in San off the coast of Santa Cruz. Let's see where this one is, shall we? This one occurred. Let's see how far it is from the mainland. It is. About 20, a little more than 20 miles away. And let's see what a fault. It occurred on the Santa Cruz Catalina Ridge fault zone. Okay. And how far is this one from our seismometer? <coughs> Sorry about that. This one is 124, so this one's probably also going to have small readings. Oh, I forgot to show. The Johansenberg quake had these readings on our size infiltech seismometer. Okay, so the Santa Cruz... Let's see, it was about five, six hours back. So here it is, this one right here. Pretty small readings here. And then here, let's see what time it occurred at. 17, 21 UTC. Sorry, 1721 UTC. So that would occur right around here. Yeah, here's the P wave and here's the S wave. And here's our... Oh, there goes the globe. And here's our spectrogram. Sorry, I forgot the name there. And finally, a 3.2 in Sierra Luz Valley, which has 13 reports. <coughs> I'm tired today. Okay. I think this one was close to the Garlock. Okay, so this one was an aftershock of the 7.1. And 6.4 that happened in July, and it occurred pretty far away from faults. Unknown fault in California. How far away is it? Two miles away, so it could have been caused by that. <laughs> okay, clear that. How far is it from our seismometer? This one's pretty far. It is 139 miles away. Okay, so this one's probably going to have very small readings. Maybe not, who knows, it was the largest of the three. So this one here, 17, 
card. Here's the Santa Barbara one, and here is the Ridgecrest one. Here's the P wave, and here's the S wave. It's very small readings. On the Infotech, on the other hand, is the Santa Cruz one, and here is the Ridgecrest one. Pretty good readings. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video, and have a great day.